This is a love letter to a lost child, a memorial in voxels. Uh, the story of Joel Green, his parents Ryan and Amy in a four-year fight against the indomitable, tireless enemy that has taken people from all of us, that dragon cancer. There are games that will make you laugh. Uh, this one is more than likely to make you cry, even if it does make you laugh. If serious games are not your thing, games that are more about emotions than enemies, turn around now and watch just about any of my other videos. This will be a heartbreaking narrative two-hour experience, and I hope you're going to come with me for it. Bread on the water. Oh, where the duck? Hey. Yeah. What a neat way to start the game. Where the duck? Is that Joel there? Nice. Oh, don't touch the birds. No, no, no. Don't touch the birds. No, they're gross. Yeah. Guys, I think yeah, this yeah. is audio from home video okay. of when this family was together. They still are, obviously, but I'm missing one person. Did you see that one almost bit him? Huh? Hi. Oh, guys, good job today. Come on. Well, Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. I don't see everybody else. Okay, no, you try. Almost five, right? Almost yeah. five. What? But he, but he can't talk. It's true. Yeah. You can talk. <laughs> Why can't Joel? Well, Joel got sick right after he turned one. Kind of slowed him down a little bit, buddy. So he's just slower than most kids. Yeah, this is the story of Joel, guys. Joel got cancer just after his first birthday. This is the voice of one of his brothers and his parents. Yeah. Joel's supposed to be a boy, but he's a baby. He's a boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a boy, baby. That's just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's laughing. Ha ha ha. Yeah. What is it? him laugh. You are good at making him laugh. Well, how do you make him laugh? <laughs> yeah. It's really funny when you fall down. He's good at showing us what he loves. He's good at showing us what he loves. <laughs> wow, what a... Unique first scene. We were listening to what I think was audio from an old home video with the family at the park. Park at the edge of the world. What does Joel love? Wawa. Wawa. <laughs> in cups and bathtubs. And the warm wet tongues and the cool fur of Das. Maybe the sweet was a daily affection. And... That's Ryan. He is the developer and lone father of Joel. And more. Oh, always more. That's cute. This full list of work. Right. So. At five, that is few. I guess we're walking. The game only uses the mouse so far. 
I guess that makes sense. It's not about the mechanics, being able to run or jump. What is that creepy tree? Head for that bridge. This is really neat not using WASD. It is pain without a word. Right. If you can't speak. What is hope without a word for? Who is God? What is joy? I should mention, guys, this game definitely has. Um, religion is a strong theme. The family. There's that weird looking... That looks like that tree. So does that. Uh, this family, the family that Joel was a part of and that made this game, they um, are a very religious family from what I know. And faith was uh, big for them in Ooh, getting through the tragedy <laughs> of having a kid get sick at such a young age. Dada. I usually like to talk a lot when I play a game. There might be gaps of me just shutting up because I don't want to step on something that's already done an amazing job telling this story. It doesn't need me. Hi, buddy. Oh, I don't have a controller ready. Go. Okay. Are you ready? Set. Ready. Set. There we go. Wanna push? <laughs> there we go. Tell him, Caleb, that Joel's doing really well. Yeah, he is. Okay, Joel. Ready? Yeah. He's been very peaceful all afternoon. Go. Yeah. Go. Good. There's one more spot to explore. Who's that? Let's tell him, Caleb, that... What do you think, Isaac? Isaac is Joel's brother. He's in a hospital, so they're taking care of him. And that's how he gets his food? His food goes through that, too. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. You want to touch him? Yeah. Why don't you just pat his cheek, okay? Okay. Oh. Hop on. Pat his cheek. Oh, uh, look at the redwoods. Now, this game has some... Really great visuals. <laughs> See how high we can get going. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Right here. Oh, look. Oh, it's a cell phone dinging at me. 
Look. Amy, new voicemail. Hey babe, just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel and they said we have to give it at least three full days, but that if he's still throwing up after that, that we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, right but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So I guess we'll just give this a try. And I don't know. I'll tell you more about it when you get home. That is a message from Amy to Ryan uh, about Joel first getting sick, I think. There was an amazing podcast about this game earlier this week. Guys, those aren't trees at all. Those aren't trees at all. Is that how the game is representing cancer? It certainly looks like it. Buddy? God, that's exactly what that is. And it was there the whole time. God, hey. What was that? It's everywhere. It's infesting this forest. Yeah. Fear is cancer's preservative. Cancer's embalming oil. We're above the clouds now. And you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil sins. You're a snake. A serpent. A dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molting, and talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. That dragon. Cancer. Guys, I warned you this isn't gonna be... A laugh a minute game this is gonna be serious and our first 20 minutes certainly were geeks thank you for checking out this uh first part of my playthrough of that dragon cancer i'll be back with you with another one of these carry on the story and we'll do it tomorrow